is NDTV. And you are watching NDTV Prime. Hi everyone, it's time for you to catch the Bazaar Buzz with us at the CNB team. Thanks for joining us, I'm Siddharth Vinayak Parkinkar. Today's lineup looks pretty exciting. Maruti is going in for a complete overhaul and transformation of its retail network. We have the details. Triumph is opening up its training for its Tiger riders. And the complete strategy behind the new fifth generation Verna launch in India with the managing director at Hyundai Motor India. Right, so plenty coming up. Let's start off by talking about Maruti Suzuki. The minute I say Maruti, I know I get your attention because, well, it's the market leader here in the car space and usually the trendsetter when it comes to the passenger cars. Now, this time around, the latest initiative from Maruti Suzuki is not a new product. It's not a new segment. It is a new idea in some senses. After bringing us Nexa, which brought a completely new kind of customer relationship and experience, now Maruti is finally doing something similar with its entire network. So the regular Maruti dealerships, if you will, are also going in for a complete transformation. Things are getting slicker, more high-end, and we've got all the details now from Cyrus Dabur. thousands of people who buys a car every month in India, you're eventually going to find yourself at a Maruti Suzuki dealership. Now until now, dealerships have been pretty mundane in terms of design and look. And it's up to the dealer owner or the dealer principal to design the dealership itself and to decide what he wants in terms of look. Maruti does have the next such chain though where everything is standardized and now they're going to use that same concept of standardization in their mainstream chain of dealerships. So you're going to have a whole new look as we have here. And yes, it does look a little upmarket. So let's show you what's really new. From a very normal and basic experience to a new and much more inviting atmosphere, with the new Maruti Suzuki Arena, the Indian automaker intends to make the dealership visit an event while buying a new car. start with the first thing that you are usually presented when you enter a dealership, a brochure. Gone are the days when you pull out a paper brochure from a stack and go through it. The new Maruti Suzuki Arena dealerships will have a large touchscreen panel that potential customers can access to check out specs, features, colors, etc. The touch panel will also offer buyers a 360 degree view of the car along with the iCreate configurator for vehicles like the Vitara Brezza and the Swift. Owners will also be able to reload pre-configured variations of the car that they might have customized on their own computers, iPads or phones directly onto the screen here. The biggest change though is not the technology but the actual ambience of the new showrooms. All Maruti Suzuki Arena showrooms will now feature the exact same design language with the ivory or the off-white combination with a warm yellow lighting and wooden tables and countertops. Dealerships will also feature a corrugated blue wall combined with the backlit Suzuki logo as a bright design centerpiece on the inside where the exterior will have a combination of blue and brushed silver. The dealership will also feature a cafe instead of a back-end pantry which was earlier used to prepare tea or coffee for the customers. There will also be dedicated corners with showcases that will display dealer-fitted accessories like audio system upgrades, alloy wheels and the crowd favourite chrome garnish pieces. A separate showcase for idols of various deities and god figurines will also be present.
as far as our alignment the dealers uh, is concerned you know we'll be providing them all the technology platform support and uh, all the design layout everything uh, would be provided by maruti suzuki however when it comes to investments it's a dealer centric uh, initiative and uh, dealers will be uh, putting in the investments and uh, if i have to put some number on that investments uh, so uh, you know our showroom sizes vary from place to place so depending on the size of the showroom and uh, the place where it is the investment may be anything between 1 to 1.5 crore first focus would be on metros and uh, mini metros and uh, gradually we'll expand to uh, rest of the country so this year we are planning uh, about say 80 maruti suzuki arena showrooms and over next to 3 uh, 3 to 5 years uh, we will uh, you know stretch it to the entire country and our number there is about 2050 so we expect to cover all those showrooms now where elements like the warm ivory on the floor and the cafe and even the waiting area are really cool my personal favorite is this black patch here now this is actually made to emulate a road and that road leads to this little area outside which is a delivery area now every maruti suzuki dealership now henceforth will have a dedicated delivery area inside the showroom and that i think is a really cool concept so that you don't have to deliver a car outside the showroom in all the crowd and all the madness an up market feel is what maruti suzuki was going for and that is exactly what the new arena dealerships have managed to achieve successfully in fact the new dealership that we visited in delhi can easily be passed off as something as high end and cleanly designed as a volvo dealership and that is high praise New look Maruti coming to your neighborhood look out for that now let's talk about the Triumph Tiger Trails it's a training academy and you might think hmm why do i need to be trained on a Triumph Tiger well that's because a lot of times people buy these application oriented high end bikes but they don't always necessarily know how to actually use them or maximize what they can do so of course we dispatched Pritam Bora to the academy to try and bring you a sense of everything that you can do with your Tiger especially in this wet season The Triumph Tiger Academy offers professional guidance for adventure enthusiasts and this time around it was the turn of automotive journalists to upskill themselves and the focus was on learning off-road skills on the Triumph Tiger 800 we spent some time on a rainy wet day near Lonavla in Maharashtra so basically you have the instep if you don't know your instep and you know what the seat height is back to school at the Triumph Tiger Training Academy minimum of speed and out of control veteran motorcycle rally rider and chief trainer vijay parmar giving a lowdown on do's and don'ts of off road riding since all of you enjoyed your water crossing too much and our partners in crime are the triumph tiger 800s both the 800 xrx and the more off road oriented tiger 800 xcx for us the students it's time to unlearn a few things and to learn the nuances of riding off road look at head look at front look at back look up But first, lessons in riding in the correct posture and wearing the right riding gear. You're just doing fine, man. Clear the track, please clear the track. Understanding throttle response and balancing the big bike properly, the first lessons. And for some of us, it was easier said than done. The first obstacle seemed daunting, but most of us managed somehow. time to get wet and for that we have the slush fest water crossings may look easy peasy but also turned out to be a bit of a challenge but all in all it was all fun and games and the big tigers make it seem all too easy the tiger training academy is open to anyone who wants to get familiar with adventure riding Whether you own a tiger or not, or even are an existing Triumph owner, and best of all, it's free of cost. A day at the Triumph Tiger Academy opens up a whole new world of possibilities, particularly on a big adventure bike like the Tiger 800. It's best experienced first hand. 
and eventually all of us came back, becoming better riders and understanding what it takes to ride sensibly, responsibly and use the skills we acquired when we encounter terrain when the road ends. Most of all, it seems like a long wait for the next adventure on two wheels. Let's take a short break here on Bazaar Buzz. We come back with more. Please keep watching.